ladies. We are so happy that you are joining us today in our Full for Life kitchen. We'd like to take some time and share with you some tips on how you can simplify your shopping and how to pay attention to ingredients listed on a label. We've all been there where we're walking through the grocery store and we're utterly confused at what to choose. A general rule of thumb that we like to stick to is seven ingredients or less whenever possible and keeping those ingredients to whole foods. A great example of that would be a club cracker versus a rice cake. So these club crackers have 20 plus ingredients in comparison to a rice cake that has the whole grain rice itself and salt. Yes, and what we like to do to top those rice crackers is use nut butter. And what we want to pay attention to when we're choosing a nut butter is that it simply has the nut itself, maybe a little bit of salt, but we want to pay attention to some of the nut butters that are on our grocery shelves that they are loaded with oils and sugars. Yes, a lot of them have added oils and sugars. And sticking with snacks, everyone loves a granola bar as a grab and go snack out the door. And a lot of granola bars have a ton of ingredients that just are completely unhealthy. So a really good example of a healthy granola bar would be something like this. It not only tastes delicious, but it has six whole food real ingredients in it. Uh, a lot of other granola bars that are out there, the labeling says natural or gluten free or it says organic and that's confusing because naturally our mind goes to it being healthy. But when we pick up the box and you look at the ingredients that are listed, there's things in there such as vegetable oils and a lot of just refined ingredients that are unhealthy and you want to avoid. One of the things that we will also want to just touch base on today is our salad dressings. Yes. We hope that all of us are including salads in our diet and one of the things we love to do as well and encourage everyone is empty your refrigerator, put anything that Throw you it on want on top of that dress, uh, on top of that yes. salad. But let's pay attention to the dressings that we use. A lot of the dressings in our stores have highly processed ingredients. Hydrogenated oil. Absolutely. This particular one has over 20 ingredients listed. If you can take the time to throw together your own dressing using some herbs and flavors, hit our website. We've got a lot of recipes on there that you can take advantage of. But if you do go to the grocery store, pay attention to what's listed. Condiments in general are loaded with unhealthy mm -hmm. ingredients. Yeah. A lot of them have different dyes in them as well as high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. So especially when you're choosing a ketchup or a barbecue sauce, pay attention to what's listed and try to keep it to seven ingredients and keep those ingredients to whole real foods. Absolutely. And one last thing that we want to touch on is beverages. Yes, that's a big one. So something like a beverage you can pick up. This says zero calories mm. with vitamins and it's naturally flavored. So your mind automatically goes to, that's healthy. But when I flip it over and I look at that label and I see red 40, which is a dye, and all kinds of other sugars that are added to it, mm. it's really not that healthy. So the best way that we would say for you to include a beverage into your day is to infuse your water or add something like a cold pressed cranberry juice, not a cocktail, into some water. Yes. So thank you for joining us. We look forward to you joining us again and live full for life and cheers, cheers to, to a healthy, healthy lifestyle. lifestyle.